I'm Charles Bartlett from the University of Delaware. We will backtrack for a moment with a different specimen. The largest specimen you have in front of you, large enough that I can't get it all underneath, looks something like this. Now, we could go through the beginning of the, of the couplet again, of the key again. But this specimen will key in the same sequence of steps we just saw with the uh, dictyophorid, in that, you know, once again, here's the hind tibia, first tarsomere, second tarsomere, which bears a row of spines. So the hind tibia does not have the apical spur. We move on to couplet two. The second tarsomere. Uh, bears a row of apical spines that sends us off to couplet eight. Now couplet eight begins once again, large species, 10 or more millimeters. Well, this guy is large enough that I can't get it all under the scope. So I would say that constitutes a large species, more than 10 millimeters. Front wing normally colored, and you can see in here that it is colored. This is actually much less colored than many of them are. If we look, for example, at this one, these four wings are very distinctly colored. Um, so that's, that's what we mean by that. Opaque and slightly thickened. Yes, that's opaque. Yes, it's also slightly thickened, slightly tectiformed. Uh, venation usually reticulate. You can see in either of these specimens that that wing venation has lots of little cross veins. So that is what we mean by reticulate. If we go back to this one. Here we are with all those little cross veins. So that, I once again, is reticulate. Anal area of hind wings with cross veins. It would be convenient if I had one where the wings were spread, but I don't happen to. So what I can do is what you would have to do anyway, and turn it upside down, and look at the apex of the hind wing, which you can see right here, and you can see all those little cross veins in there. So that is what's meant by the apex of the hind wing bearing cross veins. So that is what I had for family level keying. It's enough that you've seen almost all the families. And we'll have to move on in just a moment to looking at genera of Delphacids.